So hey, today we're in 1 Samuel chapter 9, and we are going to read verses 22 through verse 27. Let's see what it says. Now Samuel took Saul and his servant and brought them into the hall and had them sit in the place of honor among those who were invited. There were about 30 persons. And Samuel said to the cook, Bring the portion which I gave you, of which I said to you, set it apart. So the cook took up the thigh with its upper part and set it before Saul. And Samuel said, Here it is, what was kept back. It was set apart for you. Eat, for until this time it has been kept for you, since I had said I invited the people. So Saul ate with Samuel that day. When they had come down from the high place into the city, Samuel spoke with Saul on the top of the house. They arose early, and it was about the dawning of the day that Samuel called to Saul on the top of the house, saying, Get up, that I may send you on your way. And Saul arose, and both of them went outside, he and Samuel. So there's a meal. It's all been set up. It's all been set up because Samuel knew that God was going to be true. He's a prophet. He knows all these things. So he had the meal prepared and the people prepared there to be there. Saul comes, not not any awareness that he's going to come to the meal and have this talking to that we're going to get tomorrow morning about God's plan for him. But anyway, Saul is there. His servant is there. The people are there. And we have this, this experience. The big portion is kept for Saul and that's kind of another indicator that something's going on, and that's the one, one of the ways they used to do things. They'd give the big portion to the eldest child or the most important person or, or different important guest. Here, Saul gets it, and he's like, you know, who am I to get this big portion? But that's what is going on. And so Samuel now tells him he's got to obey. And by the way, did you notice all along the way here, Samuel is giving instructions to Saul, do this, sit here, come here, come at this time, do this. And, and Saul is obeying. Saul is following the instructions of the seer, the prophet, Samuel. And I don't know if these are little tests, but they, they could be. It's kind of interesting how this all works out. Saul does each thing as he's told. He's a little bit skeptical, but he's following through. And now there's going to be a private interview between Samuel and Saul. They've gotten the servant uh, back to the side now. Now they can talk privately and tomorrow morning, we'll see about that conversation. But God is providing for his people. Uh, we should notice here that, again, the prophet has quite a great faith in God, and so he just goes ahead and gets everything ready. Saul doesn't have a clue about it when he first gets there. So it's something that we can do by faith, is we can trust that God is at work. We can trust that he's going to provide. There are cases, uh, famous cases of of orphan families like in Britain. They set up, they didn't have any food even that day, and yet they got everybody there. They put out the plates and they got everybody set up for breakfast and then suddenly the food would arrive um, just providentially. So that's an interesting lesson because it seems to be what's going on. Saul's not aware, but Samuel's quite aware. And Samuel is just simply operating by faith. You and I can operate by faith too. Not presumption, but faith. God is working, again, as we said the other day, providentially, he's going to provide him a king for his people. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, I thank you that Samuel was able to trust in you, that he knew you were going to follow through and provide, and you indeed provided uh, Saul, and so you are always working. Many times we, we get into this strange thought, we wonder if you're working for us, if you've forgotten us. This story helps to remind us that you are always working for your people. Help us, Lord, to have that kind of faith, to be ready to step out and know that you'll provide according to the riches of your mercy. Help us to be able to differentiate between our presumption and a truly Holy Spirit-led faith. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So that's an important thing for us today. A lesson from Samuel, trusting in the Lord. He's got the meal already there. And now here's Saul. Let's see what happens next. God be with you today.